so i'm a little late on this but yeah capcom banned right leverless type controllers what's a leverless control i'm glad you asked one of these right there's no lever right no ball top none of that it's just buttons so you know when we think of these controls we think of hitbox right because they were one of the first to do it if not the first to do it but there's a bunch of different types right there's Grand food arcade controls right there's the obsidian hitboxes there's hitbox themselves there's the accordion where you hold it like this and scalp it there's a bunch of different types of these right keyboards as well you know newer people are playing on keyboards now and shit like that right so capcom said in anticipation of the 2023 season capcom has made the decision to update the capcom pro tour rules in relation to leverless controllers one of these this was done to address consistency and fairness concerns this rule change can be viewed on capcompro.tour.com the complete rules for the season will be available closer to the start of capcom pro tour well basically what they're doing is so if you're holding up and down at the same time like this right you you get jump you're getting jump you're always going to get jump because it doesn't have simultaneous simultaneous opposing cardinal direction cleaning right which means it doesn't put you in neutral right so here's the rules okay the fighting game genre has seen numerous groundbreaking changes over its long history most recently with the advent and increased adoption of leverless controllers capcom constantly studies and reviews new developments in controller technology Evalu no, they don't. That's a lie, and I'm going to explain why. Evaluating their advantages and disadvantages, while taking into consideration the differences between controller input and character behavior in the game, which finally leads us to make to making informed and justified adjustments to our controller usage, rules to ensure the highest levels of competitive fairness. The new rule we are putting forth below is designed to ensure all leverless controllers operate to a universal standard regardless of make or model at Capcom sanctioned events. With this in mind, we decided to make the following change. If up and down directions are input at the same time, both inputs must be maintained or both inputs must be rejected. Basically, what they're saying is when you hold up and down, like I said earlier, you shouldn't be doing anything at all, right? You should stand there. You should be in neutral, right? Just like when you hold left and right, you just stand there. You're in neutral because on stick, which is a relic of the past, right? They're not archaic relic of the past, which, you know, they want anything to play like stick. But anyways, that's a different conversation for a different time. Uh, you should be able to get multiple directions at once, right? Now I'm in the game, I can show you. So if you notice, I'm holding right. So I'm walking to the right and then I'm holding left. And I'm walking to the left, right? Now, when I hold both at the same time, I'm in neutral, right? I'm not holding a direction because the game's like, oh, okay, we're gonna put you in neutral because these two directions are canceling each other out. But if I'm holding up and then I hold down, right? I'm still getting jump because jump overrides down. Now here's just me holding down and then I'm holding up, right? This is what's happening now. This is what they don't want, okay? They want it to be you in neutral, like that. Now, it's funny because they're doing this to nerf flash input characters, flash kick input characters, right? Like, God, they don't want you to be able to bypass, you know, perfectly bypass the frame it takes to stand up. Mind you, you can still do this on stick. You can do perfect flash kicks where you don't stand for a single frame, albeit it's much harder. So, they're like, okay, yeah, you're not going to be able to do this anymore. But what they didn't realize is you get way more advantages by putting this rule implementation, right? Now, for example, there's Jamie, right? Jamie has a down, down, I think medium kick input that's an anti-air, right? So usually that's this input, right? This input, okay? This still takes a while to input, even if it's a button, okay? It still takes a while. It's still an execution check, right? But if since this new rule is implemented, you don't have to do down down anymore because this puts you back in neutral, right? You don't have to worry about jumping in neutral. If you're in neutral when you hold up and down, you just tap up and then you get a second down input. So you literally just go like this, ooh, ooh, and then you hit medium kick. And all of a sudden you get an ant here that leads you to 30% damage, right? 
which is insane. This is one of the new advantages, right? So Jamie, Chun Li, and whoever else that has down down inputs benefit heavily from this, especially if they're anti tiers. That's one one advantage. The other advantage is you can now dash out of crouch by doing this, right? You can now dash out of crouch. The other advantage is they got rid of the DP input shortcut of you know forward, down, and up forward, right? Six three nine. You know, is what they refer to it as. So they got rid of that in 6. But now, with this new rule set where down plus up equals you just standing neutral, right? Not hitting any button like this. You can now do 6, which is forward, right? Down, forward, which is 3, right? And then 6. That's another shortcut. 636, six, right? For DP. But it's going to look like this, right? Because this puts you back in neutral. So if you, you're already bypassing one of the shortcuts that they got rid of. And they're not going to get rid of 636. Okay. So if you're already getting three advantages over the one that you lost. You get a fuzzy block stuff now by the tap of a button. Instead of getting jumps and getting caught on your jump. That's four advantages, right? In Street Fighter 6, it is coded to put you in neutral. So if I have my gamepad, right? And I hold up and down it puts me in neutral because the software does it itself right diaphone actually has a uh, a tweet on this game SOCD cleans right you see how this is returned to neutral and so you can't do like instant flash kicks and that kind of thing with uh using the d-pad and the the analog so you can do everything i just said on pad so if you ban leverless controllers you also have to ban pad so your only option is to not permanently ban the control type. But here's the thing, you can't ban Hitbox simply, Rift. It's way too late to ban leverless controllers, and I'm gonna tell you why. More than- uh, I would ha I would say 50% of the community is on a Hitbox. If you ban Hitbox, you're banning everybody on a leverless controller. You're getting- you're- which I guess I should say, you're, for the lack of a better term, Making people not while well, you're shying people away from playing, right? The new people are playing on keyboard that buy it on Steam, right? They're like, oh, I'm gonna just learn the game on keyboard. It's a hitbox. All the people that play on hitbox now, which is like half the scene, are a leverless type control. You're alienating, alienating them. That's the word I was looking for. Daigo, right? Alienating him. You know, the time to ban hitbox was five, six years ago. It's too late now. They're not gonna ban it. It's just way too late to ban this controller scheme right it's just way too late but if they get rid of down plus up equals up they open this other giant can of worms with all of all these crazy advantages that hitbox gets right by you having them comply you're also giving them way more advantages than they're losing and they want them to comply because they don't want you know these frame perfect flash kicks or whatever right the competitive integrity and they didn't think about the repercussions of what would happen if they got rid of it, right? And Hitbox, of course, they, they put out a statement. The first statement they put out was not the best. So Hitbox went to say, this is their first statement. They have, they, had, they made a second one after this. Uh, Please know that we emphasize with all these new concerns and uncertainty for our existing and new customers. This is still a developing situation, which we assure you has our full attention. We're confident that we will be able to provide a solution to our customers that will comply with any changes to the rule set. While Capcom and Street Fighter are an important part of fighting game community, they do not represent the community as a whole. The larger tournament community and its leadership have already ruled over, many times over that the current SOCD resolutions in our controllers are appropriate for tournament play. We stand firmly by and believe in the standard, a standard that was set more than a decade ago and that is still implemented to this day. So, yeah. They put out another response saying, we want to clarify any misunderstandings concerning the new SOCD guidelines and the CPT rule set. The hitbox currently revolves up plus down is up. This is not legal with the new CPT rules. We do not. We do have a new firmware to resolve up plus down as neutral to provide a solution for players competing in the CPT. However, we want to further test this firmware before public release. This firmware legalizes the hitbox at CPT events. Our first and foremost concern is our customers and ensuring that they are prepared to play at CPT events. We stand firmly that our current SOCD model is the most balanced and practical setting for all fighting games SOCD true neutral will add more techniques to hitbox controllers than it removed we will continue to support our community and our customers regardless of rule sets we will have more updates as the conversation continues so they're like yeah if you do this we're gonna have more options and they actually have a video check this out dude this is nuts so now he's forward walking right while <laughs> getting a crouch input 
So you could forward walk while doing Jamie's end here, buffering it as you just walk, right? So imagine this is Street Fighter 6 and this is Jamie and your chun with their down-down input, right? So they're just walking forward to gain the down-down input, right? Especially, you know, if you let go forward, right? It like, the, the motion just uh, buffers or retains itself. This is super cheating, dude. You, you, you're already cheating, now you're spending meter on cheating. So there's more repercussions if they go back to neutral. This is them complying to the rule. Right, all, uh, everything they want, down, up, neutral, left, right, neutral. But now you can fuzzy block. You can dash out of crouch, right? This is nuts. Dash out of crouch, bro, you're not gonna see it coming. Better fireballs. You could already do this with fucking the, the uh, X axis SOCD, but now you can do it with Y axis. They got this is the DP shortcut that they got rid of, right? You guys, so you you have to do forward, down forward, and then up forward, right? But since you know they got rid of that, you can't do six three nine anymore. But you can do six three six, which you know you could do if you have the down plus up equals neutral. It's nuts, man. So you know they show this video, and you know some people were like, uh, "There's a popular t tweet. Let's see if it pops up." Uh, do you want to get your controller? But you can't though. You can't ban leverless controls, man. That's the thing. What these people fail to realize is there's too many people on it. If they ban hitbox or leverless type controls, what's up, dog? Do you realize how many people are affected by this? And again, the newer people coming into the fighting game scene are on keyboard. People that are coming from shooters, right, or other uh, computer type games, MOBAs, all that shit. What do, you, what do you think they play on? There's a lot of stake on, on hitbox people. In response to this, are you trying to ban your controller? No, they're just showing you what's going to happen with this change with every leverless type controller. doesn't matter if it's the hitbox on Zidian from Quamba. It doesn't matter if it's the junk food arcade snack box. It doesn't matter if it's a custom made one. It doesn't matter if it's hitbox. They're all going to be able to do this pad, right? They all can do this. So it's like, hey, look, this is what you're doing. And we're telling you right now what's going to happen instead of you finding out in the future. But the other thing is, how are they even going to prove that you're following their rules in an online setting? Oh, you, you, you did the SLCD clean, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. How do they know? Unless they have some software that reads inputs in the back end, which they're not going to do. And in an offline setting, what are you going to do? Have TOs check every single leverless controller? Hey, brother, you better hit that up plus down and it better be neutral. If not, you're in timeout. It's, it's going to be so much hassle, right? And these TOs work for free. If, if they implement this rule and if I was a TO, I'd be like, you better start paying me. If you want me to fucking frisk people's hip, uh, leverless controls. If you want me to cavity search that bitch, you got to start paying me because this is a lot of work. Random brackets already a pain in the ass, and they work for free. They need to be start. They need to start getting paid, dude. The, we're just stuck in this bubble, and people don't realize it, right? It's just how it is in every scene in every game. Certain controllers will have an advantage. That's just how it is. Controller is better in some games. Mouse and keyboard is better than other games. Hitbox is better in other games. That's just how it is, and that's how it's always gonna be. I feel like it's going backwards if you're trying to dictate what it control you can and cannot use. If they ban hitbox, they're taking three steps. If I'm sorry, if they ban leverless controls, they're taking steps back. And plus, uh, with these advantages, it's still not gonna magically make you better at a game. Being able to do all this isn't gonna make you a godlike player all of a sudden, right? Still gonna have to practice have reactions, decision making, all that stuff. But people are too small brain and the fucking Tina's having to realize this isn't just going to make me a better player. If that was the case, dude, you would not have the same people making top eights and winning than you do now. It would always be different. So yeah, it's interesting to see where Capcom takes this. And I wonder if other companies are going to, like Bandai, right? I wonder if they're going to be like, hey, they, they got a point. You can't do this, right? 
for banning this type of control scheme you know we want it to be socd cleaned as well right but then what other advantages is that open is it more or less than what you had previously because right now i know in tekken you can do uh the sidestep that's super difficult on stick pretty practical on pad but then practical on hitbox there's certain sidesteps for moves that put you in crouch that you can sidestep the follow-up i forget what the examples are but it's pretty good i uh, i feel like i should say this just to add this to the video you know damn well project l is not banning leverless type controls right they're literally revolving their game around keyboard because of all the league players they don't give a shit about what peripherals the fighting game players use because they know they're gonna come to the game project l knows right knows yeah no we got the fighting game players hook line and sinker we don't got to worry about them we don't give a fuck what they do but all the league players team fight tactic players ruin terror players valorant players league players again what do they play on mouse and keyboard what do we want to balance our game around mainly mouse and keyboard well i guess keyboard right would be the best way to put it you probably would be using your mouse but yeah keyboard this right here you know what is like a keyboard a leverless type control right As, yeah so that's something to consider they're gonna have keyboard of course they're gonna think about controller balancing in mind but keyboard's gonna be the main peripheral because a lot of these people are like hey i'm coming from keyboard I'm gonna play. Can I play on keyboard? I can. Cool. I don't have to buy a $200 controller. I could just use my keyboard. Yeah, I just wanted to say that, you know, Project though, big game. I'm right. Coming in the future. All their players play on keyboard. It's so, regardless of what other game companies do, that's here to stay. Or at least that game and that game alone. Because what you can do on a keyboard, you can do on a hitbox or a leverless. They're doing all this to stop one or two characters. Yeah, they're doing all this to stop flash kick characters. But yeah, these are rules for leverless controls like my hitbox, right? But yeah, I I, I really wonder what they're gonna do. The the literal dumbest thing they can do is ban this type of control. Just how it is, man. Certain things have more advantages over others.